Hey guys, as always, I'd like to start off by saying thanks so much for taking the time out to watch this video and support this channel. I definitely appreciate it. Um, I did a video earlier on with regards to my vault safe and I realized I failed to mention one thing, a couple of things, but one thing that's pretty important is there is a little, I guess it's sort of like a button about, it's about this big that you can purchase. Um, and I, I like to call it a panic button and you can mount it on the side of whatever you want to. I'll show you guys a video of it real quick. Let me go ahead and see if I can just, uh, let's see, let's see. Let me go ahead and see if I can show it to you. So right there, that right there. So it's, it's small. You can see it. It's pretty small. Um, Anyway, so what that is, is what I would consider a panic button. I hit it and my safe opens right away. Because as I mentioned, there's about five or six different ways to get into the safe. There's a thumb, entry, biometric, keypad. I've also got like a fob, kind of like a key fob. Um, the panic button that I purchased was about, I think it was 25 bucks or so for that. Just really quick way to get in there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit that right now real quick. So there you have it. Safe pops open. Um, I've got my magazines in here. So I've got four magazines in here right now. Um, I like the material that these are made of, by the way. It's kind of like a foam. So it doesn't really matter. The size of your magazines, they kind of fit in there. It kind of expands and molds to them. Um, same with where my pistol is as well. It's, um, you know, it's kind of a foam. And oil's not going to mess up the foam or anything like that. Weapon is unloaded right now. So, um, there's nothing in it. Obviously, it, this is my safe, so as soon as I'm done, this is going to be loaded because what's the point in having an unloaded weapon in uh, a safe? So I'm going to load it, but just for the purposes of this video, it's unloaded. So one of the things I wanted to answer with this video, and this will be a short video, is just for you guys that have huge hands, mittens, as I like to call them, like myself. So I'm six foot six and a half, fairly tall. Um about 260 pounds so um, you know for me and I'm a lefty as well the pistol is fine for me it's it's comfortable I'm sure if somebody has smaller hands perhaps their perhaps their hands wouldn't come down to here you know maybe up there it, it all depends but you know it's comfortable so just for those of you guys that have larger hands and you know if you're kind of wondering like oh man you know um, are my hands going to fit this pistol? Um, yeah, they will. So a little hard to show here. Um, but you know, that's about, yeah, it's about how I grip my pistol. So, um, but, uh, yeah, you, you, you definitely got enough room, you know? So if you're thinking of getting this and you're like, oh my gosh, my hands, are they going to fit on this thing? Absolutely. It is. It's a large pistol. It's heavy as well. So don't want you to worry about that. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Because sometimes you wonder, you know, I didn't have anything to compare it to. So when I was going to purchase this, um, I was like, oh my gosh, hope this thing's not going to be, you know, super tiny on me or anything like that. Um, so last thing I wanted to share about the safe, which I think I forgot in the other video, is just that I've got my kind of magazine clips here I've got two of them and I've got some spare ammo back there as well but another one of these can fit over here so right now I've just got one pistol in here I'm gonna get another one which would be a Smith & Western and that'll go on the other side but I could put another two pistols over here and just remove the ammo and I can also this actually takes eight magazines so I've got four here now I've got two more coming um, um, you know, so yeah, I just want to share that with you guys. Feel free to leave any comments, suggestions, if you like any videos. 
on anything particular, please let me know. I just found out at my range that I can record, so I'm gonna bring my tripod. Um, I'm actually going to be taking my CPL class this Saturday. So I'm gonna try to get some video of that. It all depends. I don't know if they'll let me record in there, but I do wanna do some recording of me shooting single action, double action, and kind of show you guys where I've come. So show you some footage of when I first started shooting a couple weeks ago, I've been keeping my targets and where I'm at now. And there's been an improvement. You know, it's amazing what you can do um, as you practice. I've been shooting about every other day and then dry firing. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please share the channel. Take care and God bless.